So we just need to write the inequality for this one using the absolute values. And if we graph this one, we would have uh, with 1 and 11. So comparing with 1, it's less than 1, so it goes to the left, or it's not eating the x even. So and we got this parenthesis like this. Same with the 11, but it's eating the x, so it's going to go to the right. So what that means is when we set this inequality up, we've got our x. And uh, this one's going to have to eat the absolute value that we have there. Uh, just because when it comes out, right, uh, if, it's if the absolute value is greater than some number, then if we looked at the middle, I guess we would usually compare with zero. We would see everything that is that number and greater would give us an equality or a true statement. Um, with an inequality, but it also works on the other side of zero with the negatives. But uh, of course, there's no negatives here, so we've kind of it's kind of like we've moved it in this case to the right. So now we've got to find the midpoint of this, and these two are ten away, so it looks like the middle of these two is six, and that is, yeah, I think it's the number we subtract from x. We'll double check this one just to make sure. And then however far 1 and 11 are away from 6 is the number that goes right here. So this is what I have. Let's check. If I'm wrong, then maybe we'll have to flip it. And that's okay. No, that's right um, and yeah, this, this would be a minus 6. The 6 was positive, so I just replaced the 6 in there, which is purple in this case. All right, so if we're good, then no need to check. I guess. Mm -hmm. On this one, it would be 1 plus 5 to get to 6, okay. and 6 plus 5 to get to 11. Okay. So yeah, that's, I didn't say that explicitly, so thanks for bringing that up.